Hey everyone, my name is Adisha and welcome to Learn with Adisha. Today we're going to learn about logic gates. So what are logic gates? Well, logic gates basically just show how exactly a computer thinks. I'll just uh, draw a simple computer right now. Actually, I'll just use the shapes. So just think of this as a computer. Okay. So this is going to be your computer. Very simple. Just imagine this. This is your computer. Okay. So logic gates, they basically just show us how exactly the computers work. And they use something called binary logic. What is binary logic? Well, you could say that binary logic is basically just a bunch of ones and zeros. But I mean, that, wouldn't pro that probably wouldn't be the right explanation because that is the explanation for binary, which you should know in case you actually want to know something about binary logic. So we have logic, right? If, if you don't agree with that, then you're probably dumb. No offense, though. But if you do agree, that means you're correct. And yeah, computers have logic as well. So this logic is called binary logic and it uses binary. We use things like base 10 or decimal but computers use binary or base two, so we only have ones and zeros. And it follows the order of things like two, I mean, uh, one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, so on and so on. So it follows that order specifically. So that's your basic uh, introduction to binary logic. So it's basically computer logic. Yeah, very simple, very simple. Now, in what way do logic gates connect with all of this? Well, logic gates connect with all of this by showing us how binary logic works. And it works due to certain things happening. Like, mm, of course, binary. Well, switching from one to zeros or zero to ones. I'll show you some pictures of binary gates, or logic gates as they're called in real life. And I'll show you in another video how to represent what they do to inputs and what outputs they produce. So in this video, we'll only be covering the three basic gates. There's going to be another video if you want to find out about the other special gates. Otherwise, this video is going to be like 9 or 10 minutes long, and I don't want that. I want you to be able to do your schoolwork fast. So, what are these logic gates? They are which are going to be covered today, and these are the three basic ones that make up all of the special ones, because they're just variations, actually. The and, or, or not, and not gates. So a picture of an AND gate should be showing up now, and oh yeah, it did show up. So this is an AND gate. An AND gate is just a gate that represents the logical statement AND. If you have one or the other, the output is still zero. If you have nothing, the output is also zero. But if you have both, then the output is one. So, like, is it? Do you have this and this? If you have one of the one thing and zero of the other thing, that statement is false, so it produces a zero. But if you if you have one of one thing and one of the other thing, the statement is true. You do have that one one thing and the other thing. Very simple, right? Good to hear. So, up next is the OR gate. So the 
OR gate is just a gate that acts like an OR statement. It's like you have one or the other or both at once. Like you have one or the other. Like you have one and slash or the other. Then it's like zero. If you put one as true, one as false, the output will be true. Then if you put both as true, the output will also be true. But if you put both as false, the output will then be false. Pretty simple. Up next is the NOT gate, the most basic of all logic gates, but not the most lazy. We'll get to that in the special logic gate video, okay? So what is a NOT gate? Well, a NOT gate is like this, not that. Like saying, have something, not nothing, or have nothing, not something. Basically that. It's called an inverter. That's another name for it, but I prefer to call it by its original name, a NOT gate. N-O-T, not K-N-O-T. Of course, not K-N-O-T. N-O-T. Okay, very simple, very simple. So what exactly is a NOT gate? I already told you that. It's an inverter. If you put in something, it gives out nothing. If you put in nothing, it gives out something. That's like the equivalent of pressing a button to light a light, except the light it doesn't light up. But then when you let go, the light just suddenly lights up. Basically, it's that. That's all three basic logic gates. I hope you had a great time with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.